Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve this nice algebra problem, which is 2 to the power of x plus x, this is equal to 20. So what is the value of x? And now let's provide a solution. Now, the first step, we have 2 to the power of x plus x, this is equal to 20. So the first step is to take x on the right hand side, so that we have 2 to the power of x this is equal to 20, subtract x. Now, the next step is to divide both signs by 2 to the power of x. So here we have 2 to the power of x. So that now we simplify here. And this is the same thing as 1. It's equal to 20 minus x divided by 2 to the power of x. Now, let's rewrite this equation as 20 minus x multiplying by 1 over 2 to the power of x this is equal to 1 so that now 1 over 2 to the power of x this is in the form of 1 over a to the power of n which can be expressed as a to the power of minus n applying this property then here we have 20 subtract x Multiplying by 2 to the power of minus x, this is equal to 1. Now, if you check the coefficient here, we have 20 minus x. The exponent is minus x. So we need to have an exponent here with the power of 20. So this means that in, we multiply both signs by 2 to the power of 20. So we have 20 minus x multiplying by 2 to the power of 20 multiplying by 2 to the power of minus x then this is equal to 1 times 2 to the power of 20 we multiply 2 to the power of 20 on both sides so 2 to the power of 20 times 2 to the power of minus x this is in the form of a to the power of n times a to the power of m which we can express as a to the power of n plus m so we have 20 subtract x multiplying by 2 to the power of 20 subtract x this is equal to 2 to the power of 20 now the next step is let's introduce the exponent property so that exponent e to the power of ln of a this is supposed to give us a value of a now we can express 2 in the terms of that is exponent here so that we have exponent e to the power of ln of 2 this is the same thing as 2 so we can substitute 2 with exponent e to the power of ln of 2 so that now we have 20 subtract x times exponent e to the power of 20 subtract x multiplied by ln of 2 this is equal to 2 to the power of 20 we have 20 minus x multiplying by ln of 2. Here we have 20 minus x. So let's multiply both signs by ln of 2 so that we have 20 minus x multiplying by ln of 2 times exponent e to the power of 20 subtract x multiplying by ln of 2. This is equal to 2 to the power of 20 times ln of 2. So here we have 20 minus x multiplied by ln of 2, then times exponent e to the power of 20 minus x times ln of 2. This is equal to 2 to the power of 20. This is the same thing as 2 to the power of 16 plus 4 multiplied by ln of 2. We have 2 to the power of 16 plus 4. This is in the form of a to the power of n plus m, which you can express as a to the power of n times a to the power of m. So on the left hand side, we have 20 minus x multiplied by ln of 2 times exponent e to the power of 20 minus x times ln of 2. This is equal to 2 to the power of 16 times 2 to the power of 4, then multiplying by 
ln of 2. So this is 20 minus x multiplied by ln of 2 times exponent e to the power of 20 minus x multiplied by ln of 2. This is equal to 2 to the power of 4, which is 16. ln of 2 times 2 to the power of 16. Now, we can also apply the exponent property from here so that we can have exponent e to the power of ln of 2. This is the same thing as 2. So we can substitute this 2 with exponent e to the power of ln of 2. So that now we have 20 minus x multiplied by ln of 2 times exponent e to the power of 20 minus x multiplied by ln of 2. This is equal to 16 ln of 2 multiplied by exponent e to the power of 16 ln of 2. Now, this is interesting in a way. So we have that from here. Let's introduce the Lampant W function. The Lampant W function. So that if you have the W function of A, multiplying by e to the power of a, this is the same thing as a. So let's introduce this Lampant W function on both sides so that we have the W function here of 20 subtract x multiplying by ln of 2 times exponent e to the power of 20 minus x multiplying by ln of 2 across the parentheses. This is equal to the lambda w function of 16 multiplied by ln of 2 times exponent e to the power of 16 ln of 2. So that now, here we have on the left hand side, this is the same thing as a, we have this is the same thing as a, and also this is the same thing as a. We also have on the right hand side, this is the same thing as a, and the exponent here, this is also the same thing as a. So on the left hand side, we'll have 20 subtract x ln of 2. This is equal to 16 ln of 2. So we have ln of 2 here, simplifies, so that we have 20 minus x. This is equal to 16. So let's take 20 on the right hand side. So that we have minus x is equal to 16 minus 20. And this means that minus x is equal to 16 minus 20, which is minus 4. Let's divide both sides by minus. And this means that x is equal to 4. The value of x here is equal to 4. The next step is to verify. So let's verify that this value of x here satisfies the equation. Now, if you recall, we end at 2 to the power of x plus x. This is supposed to give us a value of 20. So we have 2 to the power of 4 plus 4. This is supposed to give us a value of 20. 2 to the power of 4, this is 16 plus 4. This should give us a value of 20. 16 plus 4, this is equal to 20 which is equal to 20. So this implies that the left and side is equal to the right and side. And therefore, the value of x here, which is equal to 4, satisfies the equation. So kindly follow the steps, like this video and subscribe. Please like this video and subscribe. See you in the next video.